shaft A is rotating at 600 revolutions per minute in the direction shown. What is the speed and direction of rotation of shaft D? And what are the input and output torques if shaft A is fed with 1000 watts and the system has 100% efficiency? This is the first example for the gear trains and planetary gears main video. Link below. To find the speed of shaft D, which is the same as the speed of gear 7, we'll use the relationship between number of teeth and rotational speed. This relationship shows us that the ratio between the speeds is inversely proportional to the number of teeth. And from what we learned from the main video, and since we can identify that gear 2 is a driver gear, we'll add the number of teeth of all the other driver gears to the numerator of this fraction. 2 is driving 3, 4 is driving 5, and 6 is driving 7. The denominator will have the number of teeth of the gears that are being driven, just like gear 7. 3 is being driven by 2, 5 is being driven by 4, and 7 is being driven by 6. This fraction is what we refer to as the train value E. The speed of gear 7, and therefore shaft D, would therefore be equal to 47.06 revolutions per minute. To answer the direction question, we see that the front face of gear 2 is going upward, gear 3 is therefore going downward, as is gear 4 since they're on the same shaft B, and because of the helix angle of the helical gear 4, gear 5 would be rotating counterclockwise, and with it gear 6, and therefore gear 7 and shaft D would be rotating clockwise. To address the torque question, we know that power is equal to torque times the angular velocity in radians per second. And since we're assuming that the system is 100% efficient, we can find the torque by using the same power value at the input and at the output. The angular velocity can be found if we multiply by 2 pi radians for every revolution and dividing by 60 seconds for every minute. The input torque would be equal to 15.9 newton meters and the output torque would be equal to 202.9 newton meters. Notice that the mechanical advantage is the reciprocal of the train value for systems with 100% efficiency. For another example on gear trains, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.